Hi, this is a brief tutorial on how to really access our true core strengths. Most people think that core is just in the abdominals, and this is only a part. Our real core strength is accessed in the back line of the body as well, and we do this by getting stability in the hip sockets and the shoulder sockets. This happens by sending the thigh bones back into the hip sockets with energy and the arm bones back into the shoulder sockets. This creates stability in the joints and thereby accessing the muscles in the back and in the abdominals, creating complete core strength and giving us more support for all of our asana practice. So, so to put this into practice, for instance, if we're starting on the floor on all fours, we're thinking about what's moving down into the earth to access this energy. In other words, moving the foundation to create the core. So if I start with my hands, I want to make sure that all my fingers are pushing down, even the um, tips of the fingers, as if I was trying to leave fingerprints in the mat. And as I push that down into the earth, I then send the arm bone back into the shoulder socket, which accesses strength in the upper back and across the chest, giving me complete support across the top of the body. If I'm thinking about the legs, from here, it's the knees through the shins all the way down to the tops of the feet. And if I push that down into the earth, then I access the sensation of sending the thigh bone back into the hip socket. This allows me to access the strength in the lower back and lift up through the navel with a little bit more ease to create strength through the whole body. So when I'm putting the principles into play, I create stability and strength at the same time. If I'm using this energy, then when I lift a leg and an arm off, I don't have to struggle so much because I'm thinking about pushing down into the earth to create my strength. And as I'm lengthening away, I'm drawing the bones back into the sockets to create more stability. We can also use these principles for more challenging postures. For instance, if we're doing plank and I'm putting lots of energy in the legs by sending the heels back and away and pressing the toes down into the floor, creating another point of foundation. This helps me access through the navel and in the back muscles. I'm still pushing down with the hands to get that stability in the shoulders. This still comes into play when I'm doing downward facing dog. So as I lift the hips up, I'm pushing down a little bit more with the hands keeping the shoulder blades lifting up towards the sitting bones, which is allowing me to access that strength across the upper back. If I'm thinking about pushing the feet down and away into the floor, I can then access the muscles in the thighs and get that sensation of lifting the thigh bones up towards the hip sockets, which helps create strength across the lower back and gives me more energy in the navel area as well, supporting the whole torso. We can also bring these principles into play when we're doing our standing balances. And quite often when we balance, we sometimes think it's a matter of chance. Will I balance? Won't I balance? But by drawing all the energy back into the torso, we automatically create stability. So for instance, if I'm stretching my arms away and my leg away, then I send those bones back into the major sockets, which helps me engage to the core and gives me stability all at the same time. When we're moving into something a little bit more tricky like Ardha Chandrasana, which we will do in this class, it's the same principle. As I reach the arms away, I send the arm bones back into the shoulder sockets. I'm sending this thigh muscle up so that I'm lifting that back into the hip socket. And then as I lift the other leg off, it's the same thing. It's moving back into the hip socket, which automatically creates that sensation of stability, activating through the core, and then maybe I don't even need to touch that hand down on the floor. So it's not a matter of chance, it's just a matter of using the principles. So what we want to remember to put this in our practice is that it's about drawing everything back into the center of the body to create that strength and stability. The legs moving back into the hip sockets, the arms moving back into the shoulder sockets. This activates the back muscles and the abdominal muscles all at the same time. Then we have more strength and stability and support for all the asanas that we do. And in turn, that gives us much more freedom to move.